Welcome to Breitas Monclova, where we are thrilled to share with you our latest exhibition of works by Mexican artist Manuel Felgueres, titled Conceptos Estéticos, Encuentros Científicos, or Aesthetic Concepts, Scientific Encounters. Manuel Felgueres was born in 1928 in Zacatecas, Mexico, and about two decades later, after the Second World War, he moves to Europe, and this is where his love affair with art begins. The young Felgueres moves to Paris, and there he begins to work and study under the mentorship of the Russian Cubist artist Ozip Zadkin. Here he was really able to develop his practice and worked and socialized alongside artists like Brancusi, Braque, Wilfredo Lam, Carlos Cruz Diez, and other artists that were living in Paris at the time. Upon his return to Mexico City, he joined the first nationalist movement of abstract artists known as the Generación Ruptura. This generation of artists, literaries, and creatives band together in direct opposition of the traditional Mexican school of art that was promoting the socially inclined nationalist muralists. Interestingly enough, Felgueres was the only non-figurative artist in Mexico to venture into muralism. And although he's very well known for his large-scale installations, it's his time where he begins to investigate the artistic scientific relationship between the machine and art that really launches him into international acclaim. As the title of the exhibition suggests, Manuel Felgueres' work combines the aesthetic with the scientific. He believed that mathematics, as it relates to geometry, could be used as a tool in his creative process. We jump forward to the 70s, where Felgueres begins to heavily investigate the artistic possibilities using the computer as an instrument of design, leading to his most famous project, La Máquina Estética, or The Aesthetic Machine. In the early 70s, there were only about three computers in Mexico, and of course they didn't have the sophisticated design programs that we have today. At the university where he was teaching, Felgueres set out to design his own program with the help of people who knew how to code at the time. With a Guggenheim grant, he was awarded a scholarship to Harvard University, where he continued his artistic scientific research alongside the systems engineer, Mayer Sasson. The way La Máquina Estética worked was Felgueres used a set of geometric forms that he uploaded into the computer. The system would then generate hundreds of designs a day, yielding a plethora of geometric artistic compositions that he later turned into sculptures, maquettes, paintings, watercolors, and other designs. At the heart of his practice is his belief that the artistic-scientific relationship was symbiotic, that he taught the computer and the computer taught him. Most of the works you see here today are a result of La Máquina Estética. As we can see here, Manuel Felgueres was also interested in works associated with the kinetic. Using different materials and forms, he was able to create movement and also the illusion of movement. And central to these pieces is his use of mirrors or reflective materials that would add yet another dimension to his work. The exhibition also features a maquette for La Fábrica del Arte, which was a sculptural installation carried out for La Montaña Sagrada, or The Holy Mountain, which was a science fiction, surrealist-themed film directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky. Generally speaking, Felgueres aimed to rid his work of any superfluous details, breaking down forms to their simplest state. His practice did not project any significance or messaging, and really attempted to base his work purely on the aesthetic. He believed that the poetry lied within the material and the geometric forms. Since then, major exhibitions of his work include the first and second biennials of Paris, the sixth in Sao Paulo, and the fourth in Tokyo, and the 20th biennial of watercolors at the Brooklyn Museum. He's also exhibited at the Petit Ballet, the Palacio de Bellas Artes in Mexico City, and the Museo de Arte Contemporáneo of Monterrey. Felgueres is without a doubt one of the most consequential artists from the breakaway generation. Through this exhibition, we not only get to see the pioneering work of Manuel Felgueres, but we also see his role in shaping modern and contemporary art in Mexico and how it is read today. <laughs>